Hi, how are you? I hope you're fine. And today in this video, uh, we are going to learn how Rigathi Gashagwa, uh, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, has now sent a stern a message, a very, a very shocking message to the President of Kenya, threatening Ruto. Uh, some seven other charges which have been leveled against Rigathi Gashagwa uh, looming the impeachment motion include uh, the following. It has now been uh, stated uh, with reliable sources that Rigadi Gashagwa demanded uh, around 8 billion from President William Ruto and he banged the table angrily after the president denied him uh, the Kenyan uh, shillings 8 billion. The impeachment motion against Deputy President Chugadi Gashagwa is grounded on eight charges, and according to the 40-page motion, Gashagwa is accused of having threatened President William Samoya Raputo during a stormy meeting. The Deputy President allegedly banged the table angrily after the President denied him eight billion Kenyan shillings when he wanted to resign from office. It has emerged that the impeachment motion is complete with those behind it having drawn up the grounds to remove Rigadi Gashagwa from office. The first allegation that was set against Rigadi Gashagwa was threatening the head of state. According to the impeachment motion, Gashagwa is accused of threatening President William Ruto. The second in command is accused in angrily banging the, uh, banging the desk at a meeting with President William Ruto, who denied him $8 billion as he wanted to resign. Uh, details captured in the impeachment motion showed uh, that the Deputy President William Ruto, uh, uh, the Deputy President of William Ruto, Buonarigadi Gashagwa, wanted to be compensated for the votes he got from the Mount Kenya region. Gashagwa allegedly arrived at the, mount, uh, at the amount after multiplying each vote for Ruto in the Mount Kenya region with 4,000 Kenyan shillings. The deputy president was reportedly only willing to walk away from his job if the sum was matched. Allegation number two which has been set against Rigadi Gashagwa is corruption. The mover of the impeachment motion also accuses the deputy president of engaging in corruption since his election to office in 2022. According to the motion, Gashago is accused of acquiring 5.7 billion Kenyan shillings in two years, yet he earns 12 million Kenyan shillings yearly, something that has now caused an uproar. The mob argues that the deputy president should have accumulated 24 million as per the benefits provided by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. Accusation number three against Shigadi Gashagwa is abuse of office. In the 40-page impeachment motion against Shigadi Gashagwa, the deputy president is accused of allegedly diverting material allocated to the construction of Malindi Kilifi Highway to the construction of a private road in Kilifi leading to a hotel linked to him. Allegation number four set against Shigadi Gashagwa, promoting tribalism. The deputy president is further accused of spreading tribalism in the country by alleging promoting uh, the affairs of the Mount Kenya region. Gashagwa's one man, one vote, one shilling narrative is also believed to be a huge promoter of tribalism and becoming a factor in his impeachment drive. And the last allegation that has now been uh, a set against Rigadi Gashagwa is threatening, intimidating, and publicly condemning state officers. In the impeachment motion, Gashago is accused of allegedly threatening, intimidating, and publicly condemning state officers. According to the motion, Gashago is accused of having publicly condemned the Director of National Intelligence Service, Nurdin Haji. A section of Mount Kenya MPs accused the second in command of inciting the electorates against him. Other accusations leveled against Gashagwa include leaking state secrets and opposing a key cabinet proposals. The last allegation set against him is sponsoring violent Gen Z protests. The Gadi Gashagwa sensationally claims that an MP or Gadi Gashagwa's opponents are also accusing him of sponsoring the recent Gen Z protests that turned violent. 
Uh, recently, the deputy president criticized the decision by DCI to charge his allies over the recent Gen Z protests. On that day, 26th uh, September, DCI recommended several judges against MPs from Embakasi North, James Gakuya, and Embakasi Central, Benjamin Agadiro Major Donk. According to Gashagwa, charging his allies, including three staff members, was one way of creating grounds for his looming impeachment. However, Arigadi Gashagwa, in another uh, move, has now claimed that the MPs were paid an amount amounting to over 5 million Kenyan shillings to impeach him. But he has said that some of these members of parliament refused this offer that was offered to them uh, by uh, His Excellency uh, William Arap Ruto or William Samuel Arap Ruto, even after Rigadi Gashagwa having to warn him and telling him that what happened in his tenure with the former president should never happen again. While addressing a crowd in Moya, Kirinyaga County, the deputy president claimed that Kirinyaga Senator James Murango was offered five million as a bribe but turned it down. He added that they also approached Kirinyaga women representative Jerry Maina in an attempt to intimidate her into supporting the impeachment motion. United Democratic Alliance has also said that they will kick out Rigadi Gashagwa immediately if the impeachment motion sails through. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa was not to end with his impeachment as it emerges there is another political eventuality mooted against him. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll give you more updates about which or about what is happening in the United Democratic Alliance, Kenya Kwanzaa, and what is really making Rigadi Gashagwa a very, a very, a very angry man. Thank you, and let's uh, join our hands together. We will get more updates.